Okay, so today we're gonna actually culture and see what is inside of kombucha. Bought this at the store for four dollars. It's flavored with this juice because I don't like the original one. If you look on the back of the label, you'll see that the main organisms inside are Bacillus coagulus and Saccharomyces boulardii, which is a yeast. <coughs> And really, all you need to do to actually see what's inside is take a swab. So I have three different kinds of media. One is LB, which is probably going to be good for the bacillus. One is PDA, potato dextrose agar, which is ideally, hopefully, going to be better for the fungi, the yeast. And I have another one, LB, with ampicillin added to it, which is an antibiotic, which theoretically will kill the bacillus and potential that some of the yeast grow even though yeast doesn't grow too well on LB didn't actually make up appropriate media for the selective isolation of these two organisms or whatever else is living inside but we'll give it a try so just taking a I'm gonna dip this in here try to get down to the to the bottom but this is really all you need which is just a, a tiny bit on the end of this swab do a little simple isolation streak dip it again dextrose agar and we'll do one more for the LB amp So that's it, we'll incubate these at between 30, 30 degrees for the PDA plate with the yeast on it, and then 37 for the bacillus plate. But one other interesting thing we can do is I'll see if we can see what is inside of this by taking just a small amount, applying it to the microscope slide and putting a cover slip on. We have our sample with the microscope. This isn't the best setup. However, you can see that the objective lens is absolutely filled with bacilli. And if we did a gram stain, we could see if there was anything else in there. But it's pretty interesting that this is actually a living food. So we're actually going to put that LB plate for the selective isolation of the bacillus species that it said was in there. Um, at 37 degrees. And we're going to put the PDA and the LB amp to see if we can isolate the yeast. at 30 degrees because it's a fungi and likes a little bit cooler temperature. So we'll come back in a couple days.